This is the best experience, y'all. All right, all right, all right. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whatever state, whatever city, whatever country that you are currently listening to me from. My name is Shofu Babalola Teofilos SB for short. Um, right now, this is the Pest Experience Show. You know what time is it right now? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. You know what time is it right now? Right here. This is the Pest Experience Show. Okay, um, tonight. We are going to be diving into amazing, amazing, amazing topic that we're going to be discussing tonight. And um, last week we uh, we got a show, we got a guest on the show. Uh, you might see excited tonight. That's because last week's show was. I mean, the, the the guest on the show was so much with fire, and uh, a lot of a lot of comments came into the show. You know, people were dropping a lot of comment interactive sections. So 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 interactive, and uh, people learned a lot of things. Right? Uh, we talked about uh, amazing aspects overcoming challenges in the pest control industry. So if you're listening to me from Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter. Or from YouTube directly, if you're watching me directly on the site on uh, YouTube, or if you're listening to me on the radio at www.insightradio.net, let us know what exactly you learned from last week's episode of the Pest Experience Show, where we have Mr. Ayodeji the Fortune on the show, where he talked about overcoming challenges in the pest control industry. Uh, basically, as a pest control operator, there are amazing challenges that you need to actually prepare yourself for and uh, think about how you can actually solve those problems effectively, efficiently, you know, using amazing strategies from SPACT, SPACT to understand the nitty-gritty of the business. So Mr. Adeji delved into it. He told us how he started his own journey in the pest control industry. But that's not for today. If you missed that show, man, you need to go back on the YouTube and watch that show, right? Um, right about now, this is another amazing, 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 amazing episode of the Pest Experience Show. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Like I said earlier on, we have an amazing time. And tonight, tonight, 7 p.m. Uh, West African time, right here in Nigeria, uh, streaming directly from Nigeria, we'll be talking about interactive, it's going to be an interactive session tonight, and let's look at, dive into the world of German cockroaches and how the control method has been done properly well. We'll be looking at secondary kill, we'll be looking at uh, a lot of processes that is being involved or that is involved in getting rid of pests. So let me know first, where are you tuning in from? What part of the world? What's your name? Are you a pest control operator? Are you a facility manager? Are you an homeowner? Let us know where you are listening to us from. Uh, you can, if you're a company, oh, let me know you're coming. Let me just give you a quick, quick, quick shout out on the show tonight. Uh, Roach is uh, amazing, amazing, amazing thing that you literally need to prepare, prepare your mind for to in terms of getting with them and uh, solving these problems of roaches in your apartment right uh there are different processes that need to be involved in getting all this pest in the apartment but today today we'll be looking at amazing aspects which involves you as a pest control operator as omona looking at the the cockroach jama cockroach infestation and uh, looking at the control methods uh looking at the behavior and the chemical ecology what that means is like using their behavioral patterns to get rid of them at the end of it all, the major point is getting rid of this particular pest, jama roaches. Uh, you literally need to get your mind prepared about jama roaches. But let me first, first and foremost, let me first share a short clip from SB Fumigation Service uh, on site where they did a gel baiting. So you know what exactly, I mean, you've been wondering, jama cockroaches, what, what's, what exactly is jama cockroaches? I mean, is it different from the normal cockroach that I know? Is it the big one? You know, is it the small one? I, I just want to know, right? So let me just quickly share this. If you're watching directly on, if you're listening to me on the website, that's www.insightradio.net, 
all you need to do right now is to go straight down to youtube so you can see the videos and if you're listening to me from facebook or from linkedin right let me know let me know all right so just go straight down to youtube and uh, let's start from there so okay i have listening from anchorage quarters ibadon kene Kenechuku, fantastic. Thank you very much for joining the show tonight. Anchorage Quarters, fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. It's good to have you on the show tonight. All right, so good. So I know you've been seeing this particular person I'm going to talk about. So if you have been seeing this person, let us know if you have or if you currently have that person. In fact, um, in fact, I have a, a very good surprise for anyone, you know, that's on this show. And that's the fact that... Um, we at the uh, SB Formigation Service, we are currently grabbing some copies. Let me see copies, all right, of German cockroaches. So if you have German cockroaches, we need samples, all right. I'm announcing this. We need samples of German cockroaches. We have Echo Balance. Echo Balance Consulting is listening from Kano. Fantastic. Fantastic. So this is the time where you need to invite your friends, share the links, share the links with your friends. I think it's you're watching from YouTube directly. Share the links with your friends and let them join in. Like I said, tonight is going to be a fantastic one tonight. And um, also, we have the phone lines open on the show tonight. If you want to call in on the show, and um, it's basically best experience tonight. So it's an interactive section. I don't want to talk too much, but I'm going to give you some strategy on how the German cockroaches is being properly treated. As you know, pest experience is about educating homeowners, facility managers about how to solve all this pest problem and how to prevent it. Uh, there's a difference between a reactive pest control and a proactive pest control. Uh, when you're proactive, means that you are uh, working before, taking a pre pre preventive measures before the pest actually visits your apartment. And that's it. You listening on the show is a preventive measure, is a proactive step in terms of getting rid of this pest before they arrive. And there are the strategies and techniques that this pest would eventually use to enter your apartment, which you don't know. But um, it takes an expert to be able to, um, how would I say it, to be able to solve this problem. But it takes you as an occupant to be able to know that there is a problem coming very soon. Okay. And um, you taking your time to listen to this show for the next one hour or for the next, uh, let me say, just 52 minutes uh, will be a very good step in solving this problem. So we have Echo Balancing. We're joining from Kano. Thank you very much for joining. And we have Kenechuku saying uh, he's listening directly from Anchorage Quarters, Ibadan. Nigeria. Thank you very much uh, for joining on the show tonight. So as I was saying, I want to share you a, a quick video excerpt from SB Fumigation Service uh, where they did a gel beating to get rid of the German cockroaches. This gives a pictorial demonstration of this German cockroaches. So you must have been thinking, what exactly is German cockroach? Let's start from there. Okay. very tiny those small cockroaches as you have seen in the short video that i shared they're very very tiny roach and there's this way let me use the local method of how they differentiate this pest this this type of roaches is say they, they're looking for a bigger one and there is a small one so the small one is actually german cockroach but there are different type of cockroaches we have the brown bearded uh, we have the german cockroach we have the american we have a lot of lot of species of cockroaches but majorly in the african or in the west african aspect we see more of German cockroaches and even american cockroaches that would, would infest here and that is due to the conditions that make them stay right like i said we'll be looking at this pest in detail and uh, we're going to be having an interactive section well i'm going to list out the phone lines to call in on the show tonight uh if you have experience or if you want to share one things about this particular pest or basically you just have a practical pest experience that you want to you want us to dive into you know you can just distract me today because uh we uh, having an interactive session tonight i'm going to be sharing my own experience throughout this week uh in terms of pest control and uh, what we did on site to this week and the places that we've and the pest that we've dealt with uh, majorly you know me i, I love bed bugs right i love bed bugs 100 so bed bug is my <laughs> all right so the phone lines to call in on the show is is zero nine one six nine six zero nine one six nine six seven one two seven nine zero nine one six nine six seven one two seven nine 
That's the phone lines to call in on the show. Let's talk about your experience in the pest control field as a pest control operator, as an homeowner. If you are currently experiencing one or two pests in your apartment, um, what are the steps that you've taken to get rid of them? Uh, what have you done? What is the procedures that you've implemented? What are the uh, kinetics or equilibrium studies that you've done in terms of getting rid of all this pest in your apartment? Okay, so that's the phone lines to call in. Please, 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 let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's just on the show tonight. Uh, before I started the show, I made mention of something they call. Okay, we also have um, Henry. I will get it correctly. Henry listening from Agbowo Ibadan. Okay, so that's um, we have people from Ibadan listening on the show tonight. He's also connected to, I guess Henry is connected to, that is listening from the, the Insight Radio website, www.insightradio.net. Thank you very much for joining. And if you want to also send us a WhatsApp message directly, you can also send us a WhatsApp message directly at 090-090-178-27767. 0901782767. That's strictly for WhatsApp. Okay, so I was saying I'm going to talk about the behavior and chemical um, studies about this, jam- this species of German cockroaches. I'm also looking at uh, how you can get rid of them in terms of bait, chemical control, even physical contact. Okay, I said something um, which is the secondary kill uh, or the domino effect or the horizontal effect. Okay, I'm going to explain that in detail if you've been wondering what exactly is horizontal effect, domino effect, or secondary kill effect. Those three things are very much important in getting rid of any pest, any pest, honestly, any pest. So you literally need to stay to the end of the show to be able to understand how you can implement this in your control method in getting rid of each of all these pests. Then we also have uh, this aspect of insecticide resistance because German roaches are mainly, mainly, mainly they are known for resistance, most especially German roaches, bed bugs. In fact, most of all this um, public health pest, you know, when you talk about public health pest, we have like German cockroaches, we have American cockroaches, we have flies, we have bed bugs, we have mosquitoes, right? They gain resistance a lot to insecticide products. So when you are looking at the fact that this, pro- um, this particular pest actually gain resistance to insecticide products, then what else will be used to get rid of them? How then do you get rid of each of all these pests if they are getting resistance to these things? And resistance means that the insecticides will work at some point, but at some point they will no longer work, even when you apply them. And that means that the product would not be effective on them because their shells or their cocoon has gained so much energy that it's going to repel this insecticide effect, you know, insecticide effects on the skin. It's going to repel them strictly out of them. Then we also have uh, the alternative control methods. Alternative control methods in getting rid of all this pest. So let's quickly, quickly dive in. Before we dive in on the show, let's just quickly run through on a quick, 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 quick run break, and we will be right back. And 28th of July, 2020, it's going to be in Manga, in the city of Lagos. 28 of July 2020. Okay, so uh, 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 I had this yet. Okay, let's quickly just start right on the show and let's get started about this Jamakokuch infestation. Um, this particular species are known to affect majorly in the kitchen area. There are areas where this particular insect right affect and Mostly, they are found in the kitchen area. Have you checked your kitchen? Have you checked your kitchen? Have you checked it out? Check most especially your this cabinets, your kitchen cabinet, your um, the wardrobes in the kitchen. Mostly in the kitchen. Focus on the kitchen. You would see this particular species of roaches on in that particular all the spots there, because those are places that they would.
Right, welcome back on the show, on the Pacific Experience show. Okay, so I was saying that this major species of cockroaches would, you would experience them more and the Shelter. Food, water, and shelter. Food, water, and shelter. Those are the three things that every pest would need to survive to see the next morning. And um, for the fact that German cockroaches feed or would survive more in the kitchen area, they would begin to see food items there, number one, and they would see water. And this water is from the leakages, the gaps from your from your um what do you call this uh, kitchen cabinets, your zinc, yeah, yeah. So that's that's what it that's what that's the local way of saying it, right? So your zinc cabinets, you see all those water droplets coming out from all those places, or your pipes directly from your kitchen area. Those are the major places or major requirements for these German roaches to see the next morning. So if you can stop these three things, which is the food, and the food, you know, the kitchen area is actually like your food parts. You know, that's that's where you actually um cook that's where you do all your things that's where you serve your foods that's where you make your foods and you literally cannot stop food items from moving in that kind of area but you can prevent and that prevent preventive me measure is that you actually do what they call cleaning after every food is being done after cooking you clean your surfaces make sure that there are no crumbs in those surfaces okay so right now if you are listening on the show on um, on youtube or on facebook or on linkedin let us know what exactly do you have you experienced about this particular aspect of the german cockroaches what what's your experience on this particular topic that we're discussing about tonight uh let's know wherever you are listening from Okay, so as I was saying, so there are major places that this particular species would stay and would survive, which is the kitchen area. And um, the behavioral methods that this thing exists and how we can use this behavioral method against them is what I want to dive into today. You know, there is a lot of processes that are actually involved in getting rid of all this pest. And I said something about secondary kill. And that is using their behavioral or let me say their biological patterns, using it against them, um, which makes those active ingredients back to the source of the infestation or the colony. Okay, so what I mean by that is that if you take, for example, um, German roaches, right, if they feed on a particular um, bait, a particular bait, if they feed on a particular bait or um, insecticide, they would carry these insecticides back into their colony. Okay, let's take dust. This happens in uh, when you apply dust in getting rid of, especially dust, dusting dust in getting rid of jammer roaches or any pest, right? They take these active ingredients, and these active ingredients can be imidacloprid, it can be fipronil, it can be pyrozoles, it can be chlorophenapur, it can be abamectin, it can be of different type, it can even be boric acid, right? It can be of different type that they can use that can be used in the product rather so if all this um, active ingredient is being taken by a particular species of the cockroach it would eventually take it back into the colony there was something i posted a few days ago i think it was on saturday or so yeah that's what i used to actually open the show and um first i talked about this 80 to 20 percent rule of german cockroach or uh, let me say 80 percent 20 rule of German cockroach and how this rule actually solving the problem experienced on German cockroaches. Okay, so there is excuse me, there's, there's an aspect of this um, German cockroaches that talks about you know eighty percent of the adults and um, twenty percent twenty percent of the adults rather and eighty percent of the matures. Uh, this is whereby the nymphs prefer to actually hide. You know, most of these names or the eggs, you know, they carry the eggs in the Utica, rather. They take the eggs in the Utica, which is the, like a capsule. They put it in a capsule and they move around with these eggs. That's the female cockroach, right? Okay, so we also have this aspect of this roach, right? 
interacting with themselves, right? So they are 20% adult and 80% immature. That's a new stage waiting for the adults to go out, right? Before you can actually see. So most times you see more of the adults outside, right? So the nymphs can feed off all those food items and secretions from the adult. So it's just like allowing your parents to go and walk while you as the son or the daughter stay indoor, right? Doing your own assignment or doing your schoolwork because you're just there. That's the way it happens. So that means you're using their biological patterns to get rid of all these things. So now, this is the catch. Because you understand the fact that this particular roach or this particular type of roach, which is the jama cockroaches, the adult would be the one that would feed more. Why don't you put the bait in those places where you would see the adult? Because if the adult will feed on it, the aspect of secondary kill or domino effect, which means that this product being fed on this aspect, on this um, adult species of jama cockroaches, would have a physical contact or have what they call cannibalism or have what they call emaphytogy on this insect. So I'm going to explain all these terms, right? That's basically each of these things. Insects expose themselves to um, insecticides in different ways, okay? So if you understand the fact that, okay, the adults would feed, right? The adults will feed and will take it back into the nymphs to continue feeding, right? It's just like your parents will go out, they would get food item and you, they'll bring it back into the house and everybody will feed, everybody will be excited about those things, right? That's the same way that it happens in, the, uh, in, in cockroach colony. That's the same strategy that happens in the cockroach colony, okay? So if you understand this fact, then we can now look into all these things, the secondary kill effect, the domino effect, to be able to get rid of all this pests. Okay, right? I hope you, you hope you get in it. I hope you get in it. So number one aspect is what we call this physical contact. And this happens most especially in, when you're using like a non-repellent bait or let me say dust. So if you apply dust on surfaces to get rid of jama cockroaches, to get rid of all these jama cockroaches, they would mix, this dust would definitely touch their body. And the moment they are taking this dust that's on their body, normally it's going to knock them down. Yes, that's the process. That's the effect of dust, application of dust on all these insects. Mm -hmm. But with, before these insects would knock them down, they would have walked into the colony. Are you following? They would have walked into the colony. And when they walk into the colony, they interact. You see the nymphs jumping on the adults. You see the adults jumping on the nymphs. And when they interact, the dust is jumping. It's touching each and every one of them. It's touching, it's touching, it's touching one, it's touching the other one, it's touching the third one, it's touching the fourth one. Before you know it, it has touched the whole colony. And that's another way of getting rid of This is the effect that dust would use or baits would use in getting rid of, in getting rid of jama cockroaches. Okay, this is the effect, what happened behind the scenes in getting rid of all those things, right? There's another aspect, that's physical contact. Even in termites, even in termites, they, they have this natural grooming behavior that uh, in contact with their tight confines or of their galleries, right? Uh, they, these mechanisms help in the transfer of this non-repellent stomatocytes. Most especially when you're using non-repellent stomatocytes, this mechanism is fantastic. It works even for termites. Okay, that's another secret in getting rid of termites control. Okay, so there's another one that has to do with what we call trophallasis, right? Trophallasis is like a food exchange which causes a, a mutual benefit between the mouth. It happens between the mouth or the anus, right? So it's always an exchange in the nutrients in this colony. It also gets rid of all this pests. Okay, and another aspect is whereby the cockroaches is known to feed on their own feces. All right, so if, for example, a particular roach takes a bait, and after it takes the bait, it definitely would defecate out. And when it defecates out, another particular roach would feed on it, would feed on that feces. And if it feed on that feces, then there's a transfer. Okay, there's a transfer of this insecticides or there's a transfer of this product or active ingredients into another type of roach. Then it starts to go from one to another, to another, to another, to another. Okay, those are ways that these processes of using their biological patterns to get rid of jama cockroaches. Okay, then there is also an aspect that has to do with feeding on their own species vomit. 
Okay, so beets are of different type and different active ingredients, and each of these active ingredients act differently on different pests. Differently, okay. So each of all these pests have different active ingredients, and the active ingredients act differently on this pest. Okay, so it's different ways, and there are different techniques. Different techniques in in getting rid of all this pest. Okay, so also also we also have this aspect of cannibalism cannibalism is when the roach would eventually feed on the dead one i'm going to show you a practical example of this i think i have a short video of right that um do i have that okay this is um okay i have and after beats after they feed on this bait, it's gonna wipe up. You can see how they are feeding on the bait. I'm gonna explain that process of how they are feeding on that bait. If you look closely, there is a gel bait that is being applied there. All right, and to prevent resistance, we alternate the process in each of these things. We alternate the process of getting rid of them. Right, I've talked about the behavioral pattern, how the behavioral pattern can actually help in solving and controlling German cockroaches. Okay, are you getting it? All right, so we've talked about the, the, the behavioral patterns and the ecology patterns on how this solve this, how this solve the problem of German cockroaches. And 28th of July 2023, it's going to be in Manga, in the city of Lagos. Integrated pest management, termite treatment training by default with all our corporate partners, Envu Bayer. You know Bayer? Bayer, right? They are partners with us on this. They're going to be coming to take calls. You know Kubo from Korea. They are going to be Dixon IG from Korea. Arcoken, Inside Trade, and huge a lot of all our partners. And they have awesome gifts for participation. You know, we have. We have Notepad from Evo, we have Diary from Evo, we have Mokko from Evo, we have Souvenir Training Materials, Ken, here and there, and from Kubo, Kubo Korea. Some of you are going to be going on with Key Lava, it's a lava side product. Some of you are going to be going with Mumu's Guard. You know, some of you, I mean some of you, mosquito repellent product. So we're going to be going with the hand granules from Kubo Korea and from the stable of Alcochem. Some of you will be going with rodent based station and some insect light traps. It's beyond what you pay for, I assure you. And from the pet shop, there's the best of pet shop. Some of you are going to be going with amazing gift of Fumi set and the Fortune Flow Fumi Fin. If you have not registered, come on, register now. Click on the link in bow. Click on the link in bow. Click, call the number 09099907382. Book your seat now. Take advantage of the early bird discount. Thursday, Friday of the month of July, we are going to be flying at the Black Pear Event Hall. Fish farm one two three of the road. Awesome venue, awesome area. I'm gonna be there. That Dashoma will be there. Eric Bay will be there. All of us are gonna be there. And we're gonna take the pest control industry in Nigeria to a whole new life. Come on, see you there. Taking out the shape. Hey, okay, welcome back again to the Pest Experience Show. If you are just joining, my name is Shofar Alati of Los, and you are listening to your number one online radio station, Insight Radio. Okay, so I have, uh, that was a short um, advert placement from uh, the Fortune Pest Control Training Academy. Okay, so they are um, organizing a two-day upcoming training uh, for pest control operators out there or people who are willing into to tap into the world of pest control or think about how they want to tap into the pest control industry right uh this is the the, the part where they learn the integrity of the industry unfortunately enough i'll be part i'll be part there on the show i'm on the on the on the experience uh in the program rather and the event i'll be also one of the facilitators teaching about uh, digital marketing strategies for service businesses and uh, creating innovative ideas, uh, creative ideas on how you can implement what to implement into the pest control or service industry generally. And uh, I'll be talking and up as speaking about uh, that event rather. 
So I want you to, I will implore you to be part of this amazing upcoming event coming up this week, this week, Thursday and Friday. I'll see you in Lagos, man. So right now I've talked about uh, the behavioral patterns and the uh, major places that you would find this German cockroach. Okay, so if you're listening or still tuned in on our YouTube channel and also you're listening directly from InsightRadio.net, all I need you to do right now is let's make this interactive as interactive as possible. All you need to do is call in on the phone lines on the show and the phone line to call in is, you know, if you have any question based on what I've said earlier on, like the prophylaxis, uh, insects, the gel beating techniques and how you can use the behavioral patterns of German roaches against them, right? If you have, you have any question, the phone lines to call is the one rolling right now on your screen. 0916 That's the phone lines to call in on the show. Let's know where you are listening from and let's just give your business a quick shout out. Well, that's a free advert. I remember this program is going to stay on youtube for as long as possible all right so that's where you have the opportunity to run your hand placement on the show so the quick one let's go back to what we've been talking about which is the german cockroaches um also we have this aspect of getting rid of them okay so there are different methods that must be implied or that have been implied or put into consideration when you are dealing with German cockroaches. We have the biological methods. We have um, we have also the chemical methods, which is actually one of the most common aspects. Uh, the chemical method is one of the most common aspects where everybody just buy insecticides and apply, right? Like I said every earlier on, the insecticides have different active ingredients, and the active ingredients act differently to these pests. Okay, so there are some that are contact poison, there are some that are systematic, and there are some that are, you know, different, different, different processes that they act on, right? Also, we have chemical methods, like I said, and in these chemical methods, we have you applying insecticides, and uh, we also have baiting methods. So if you're using gel baits, okay, gel baits is one of the most or considered as one of the most effective when you are dealing with German cockroaches. Okay, so why I said it's considered as most 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 effective is that uh, preferably, preferably, it's considered as the most most effective method to get rid of these German cockroaches or the species that we were dealing with tonight. Um, why I said that is this: if you apply insecticides, these um, roaches would one day, one time, get or get resistance to it faster than bait. Faster than bait because the baits that you want to apply, which is the gel baits, have what they call protein inside of them. They have protein inside of them, which makes the baits much more attractive to them and they will begin to love this particular species. So, begin to love this particular food item. All right, because I call it food item because they would feed on it, right? And before they can feed on it, they need something that would attract them to feed on it. And that's it's using over like 99% of protein molecules and protein particles, either gel, um, this, this, um, let me call that, you know, or either gels. You know, when I talk about gels, they're different protein molecules that you can actually be had that even most of people actually put sugar inside of it so they can attract them and they feed inside it they feed on it right and uh, there's a little bit of maybe 0.2 percent of the active ingredient or 0.5 or depending on the type of gel beads that has been applied so the formulations will be strictly written on the labeling of this particular um gel, gel product all right so there is gel products that can be applied in solving this problem and um, also we have other methods that has to do with using other bait so bait now can come in different formats it can be gel bait it can be dust bait it can be um this there is this catch master right i think that would be our product review for today and um, our pest of the week is German cockroach okay so we'll be dropping out our pest of the week and i also want to implore you to stay tuned on our Instagram and though to be able to watch the short clip on the pest of the week voiced by your number one host, 
show for Barbara Land. Okay, so um, there is this product we call the Catch Master, which is going to be our product review for this month. I'm mean, sorry, for this week rather. Um, Catch Master, Catch Master is one of, in fact, is one most. Uh, let me see if I can get the picture out here. Uh, one of the most effective, uh, how is it? Effective baits that's being used to get rid of get rid of German cockroaches, catch masters, glue traps. Yes, catch master and glue traps. So what you need to just do is put it in um, at the edges where this pest actually passes through and you would see that it will grab them immediately. Those are another bait or traps that can be used rather. So there are traps that can be used. You can check that out, um, catch master glue traps, right? It's a fantastic tool that can be used to catch up this particular if you don't want to use chemical methods if you don't want to use any chemicals at all you're kind of allergic to chemicals right you just want to use the preventive measures to be able to get rid of this particular um roach which is the german cockroach right catch master is one of the best products which is one of our product review for today uh i would recommend that you use that product okay so also like i said using bait is another alternative method and um, i've talked about insect resistance um getting most of them get resistance to this particular insecticide so in the process of this particular um, pest being get, uh, getting resistance to chemicals or insecticides there is an alternative method which is to alternate alternate these chemicals this active ingredient okay so every pest control operator is recommended that uh, is recommended that you actually alternate the type of insecticides that you're using say for instance you go to a particular size today and uh, you use fipronil or you use abamectin or you use you know a different product active ingredient or a carbamate or you know or i don't know you, you know you use any active ingredient to get rid of this particular roach right the next time you're going to be doing a revisit which is recommended that you do a revisit because of your life cycle okay it's recommended that you do a revisit for a effective and effective control of jama cockroach Right. A revisit means that you go there it may be two weeks after, depending on the life cycle. So you need to first study the life cycle of these German cockroaches first. Okay. So if the Utica should survive after the first treatment, then definitely there is another infestation to come. Right. So most times for every pest control operator, it's recommended that the chemicals that has been applied, you impute what we call IGRs insect growth regulators so that the moment you spray or you attack a female cockroach carrying the utica and the utica is actually i think the video that i have here has um the utica let me see the utica that's exactly the utica so if the igr can actually affect that particular female roach it would kill that Sorry, it won't kill, rather. The hydrals don't kill, okay? But it's going to damage, it's going to stop that um, egg or the utica from growing into the adults or the next stage. That's what it does. Hydrals in itself don't kill, right? It doesn't have the effect of you um, using, um, getting rid of the pest, okay? So if you're using hydrals, no, 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 it's not going to kill. It's just going to stop them from moving into the next stage in their life cycle. Okay, so it's important to put in consideration their life cycles when you are thinking of how to get rid of, of this particular roach in your apartment. So this video line to call in is 091-696-71279. If you have an experience you want to share right now on the show, if you have something you want to tell me about this particular pest, what exactly have you experienced about them? The phone line is open on the show tonight. Let's hear what you have to say about those German roaches or even... If you have experienced them in your apartment, let me know, let me know, let me know, let me hear from you. You know, it's going to be a fantastic one. All you need to do right now, if you're listening after the program, all you need to do is just click on the subscribe button on directly on YouTube and subscribe. Don't 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 miss out from any other programs that we'll be having on the show. Okay, and um, you also need to drop in your comment. You know, I've listed a lot of active ingredients that you can actually implement in your products, procedures, and steps to get rid of all this best in your apartment. Okay, all right, so implement all this things and let's get started.
method or an effective IGL that is being used in solving in solving this uh, part of the German cockroach. That's that's an IGL. Paroxyphin is a very good IGL that can be used, or they mix it together with an active ingredient or an insecticide, uh, which has a very good insecticide activity to be able to get rid of the pest. So an IGR is recommended that it's been added to the products to be able to solve this problem. I think I'm spitting a lot of facts and a lot of procedures that needs to be implemented. So I want you to jot things down and uh, solve the problem, then give me a feedback afterwards. Okay, so that's why I'm telling you all those things. Okay, so on the, when you're looking at alternative methods in getting rid of all this pests, you know, first thing first is if the problem persists, even after applying the insecticides, um, you know, if, if the problem still persists, in that case, you need to look at the alternative control method. Alternative control method is erected, okay, to be able to solve this problem. And what I mean by alternative control method is look at it in the IPM way. Okay, IPM is Integrated Pest Management. For all owners that are currently listening on the show, you're not a pest control operator, but um, it's very important you understand the integrity of what I'm talking about exactly. Okay, so um, the IPM way is you looking at exactly what is the major reason why this particular pest is here. Why are they here? Why are they looking for? You know, I can see Jama Roaches in my room. Why? That should be the question. As a pest control operator, as a homeowner, as a facility manager, that should be the question that you should ask yourself. Why exactly do I have German cockroaches in my apartment? Why are they here? What are they looking for? What attracts them to my apartment? What's spectacular about my own apartment? What's spectacular about my facility? Why are they, why are they in, in this particular place? Then when you ask yourself these questions, then you start to look at their life cycles and their behavioral patterns and also their, their steps. You know, where are they coming from? Another thing is, that's another thing. Where are they coming from? If you can see them in your kitchen area, that's a very good way to even identify German cockroach number one, right? So if you can see them in your kitchen area, that's German cockroach, okay? So if you ask yourself this question of why are they here, that means they need three things. Like I said, this particular pest needs three things to survive, food, water, and shelter, okay? So if they are here, it means that there is a food item that they are feeding on, there is water that they are drinking, and there is a place that they are staying, which is the kitchen, which you see them. Well, I call these insects the night cookers, the night workers, because they have no other, no other effect or no other activity than to feed at night, survive at night, do everything at night, you know, because they spend most of their time in the night. You know, they spend most of their time, you see them out mostly in the nights. Right. What I mean by that is that you see why I call them the, the, the night workers is because in the night you see them all around outside. They are nocturnal pests. OK, that's the English. They are nocturnal pests. Now you see them outside in the night, all over, where, everywhere, in your kitchen cabinet, every single place is there. But as a personal operator, you don't want to wait till like night if you don't operate in the night. Well, which is actually another if another effective way to be able to solve this problem is to look at when do they come out most? When do you see them the most? Is another effective way of getting rid of them. That's another secret. But in cases where you cannot operate in the middle of the night or in the night, rather, you would want to also look at their hideout. Where are they hiding? You would only see German roaches at cracks and crevices. You only see them in cracks and crevices along the edges. Along the edges. An alternative method in solving that particular problem along the edges is what they call caulking. Caulking. There was a particular, this is best experience. Too. I'm going to explain, I'm going to share my experience on this, uh, this clients that I treated for recently. And um, one thing that stood out out of this job was that uh, the roaches were actually coming from another apartment inside his own kitchen. How did this happen? Because the walls are actually tiled. The walls are, if you have, if you're a personal better and you've had this experience whereby the walls are actually tiled, most of the kitchen cabinet, they're actually tiled. If you looked at it, if you look at your database and look at, okay, most of these kinds that we get, 
there are bulbs that are towed uh major areas where these roots is actually like coming out from you see them coming out from all those places because those are idols that they would stay so we pass through all these idols right and move from one of one location to the another to solve this problem you need to caulk and caulking means you need to seal all those places seal all those entry modes seal all those exit modes all those entry points ex exit points seal them off seal them off. seal them seal them, seal them. So when you block all those things, you starve them of food and you starve them of water. Then you starve them of effective shelter. I hope you're getting it. You starve them of food, you starve them of water, and you starve them of effective shelter. Number one, because that place is actually favorable for them to stay. But something would stop them, which is that they can't get food. But the point is this. They will survive to some certain extent, but they will not survive afterwards at some points they would not survive anymore at that point you've killed them already okay so caulking is another alternative method to get rid of all this pest like i said stop liters of food crumbs after you cook or do anything make sure everywhere is wiped up and clean enough okay so this is for pest control operators that are currently listening on the show like um echo balance that is currently listening on the show um, I think I saw her here. Okay, joining from Kano. You know, Echo Balance joined from Kano. That's fantastic. Uh, that's fantastic for you to join on the on the show. Okay, so as first question of Prito, communication is key, and you finally or effectively need to analyze this first before you can even double into the job. Before you can double in, you need to first analyze it why exactly are these things here what makes this place much more favorable to them whenever i get to site first thing i do is first stand and look at okay you have jamal cockroaches okay get my torch get my headlamp and get my my knee pads and get down into the cabinet and see where are they hiding where are they where are these guys come out you know you know those are ways that you can effectively get rid of all this pest okay so caulking is a very good method and also blocking them from their food items, stopping all those waters. Water, 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 water. I mean, in a kitchen area, it, it's inevitable. Food is inevitable. But something makes it quite more better, which is making sure that all these leakages in your pipes are dealt with. No leakages in your pipe. There was a particular client also that we did for, um, was it last week? Yes, last week where these clients actually were experiencing this is even mosquito in fact they had german roaches yes and um, one thing i studied about that clients was that they also complain about mosquitoes but this particular client's building is actually upstairs the last floor in the third in the three in the three um three-story building you know and you know that mosquitoes don't have they can't fly as high as some certain they can't go too high right then why exactly are they here that's some critical questions that i start to ask myself why are they here i inspected everywhere in that room when i got to the kitchen i discovered that okay german roaches are here then that means there is leakages in the pipes or there are food items the place was so neat but when i looked under the the zinc where they wash their plates and all i saw it's a pipe that was dropping water tom 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 and when I looked at it, this water, what they did was that they've called, they said they've called in, um, they called the plumber to solve the problem, but the plumbers keep saying the same story and they could not even solve it. So what they did was to just get a bucket and just put it there so the waters are dropping inside the bucket. So what I did next was to look into the bucket and I started to see lavas, mosquito lava, right inside the water. Right. What that means is that these mosquitoes are actually breeding from inside, you know, so um, mosquito, basically, this is even rainy season. I think I need to address this. This is the season where you experience more of mosquitoes because um, they are places where this mosquito would hide. You know, they have breeding sites and you have feeding sites, okay, where they breed and where they feed. Okay, feeding sites is the places like, um, you know, if you look at the male, male um, mosquitoes, right? Let's look at mosquitoes because this best experience. I need to share this, and this is rainy season, so I need to share this. It's a little bit half. Last two weeks, we talked about the pest of the week of mosquitoes. So, you want to go back and check the pest of the week on our Instagram page and see what we talked about this. But let me ex ex share this experience. This is experiential, right? So, right now, um, 
their breeding sites and their feeding sites okay so number one feeding sites was is you know this mosquito feed on the nectars from flowers on flower pots they feed on the nectars of this flower that's a feeding site but the breeding site is another aspect like your flower your flower pots your flower pots that store or stagnant water right stagnant water is another feeding i mean breeding site for roach for even for roaches even for mosquitoes they are another source of breeding sites for them okay so they need all these things to survive in that particular client's case what i had to do was to dispose the water and told them these things you need to solve it if one the plumber cannot do this another one will do it perfectly well because it is so possible that this could be solved. It's just that maybe the price the plumber is calling is much more expensive than the other. So they are now solving problems that don't even need to be uh, too much of a problem if they had done it. Okay. So at that point, the lavas were growing there, and mosquitoes were complaining about mosquito. <sighs> mosquito on a very high building. What? What can far? Why? You know. That's that's what. So as a pest control operator, we need to be inquisitive. We need to look at how can we solve this problem, and when the problem persists, even after applying chemical method, after applying bait, after applying a lot of dust applications and all those kind of things, then you need to look at the alternative methods. You need to look at alternative methods like blocking all the entry and exit points, exclusion practice. Okay, there's something they call the exclusion practice. An exclusion practice is basically blocking all those entry points. Why are they here? Why are they there? You know, the entry points, the exit point, where are they passing through to enter this place? You know, like the clients I talked about, where the, the roaches were actually coming from the tiles, the tiles on the walls, right? So all those things need to be put into consideration and solved effectively. Okay, so thank you. Thank you very much. We had a wonderful, wonderful 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 time right here on the best experiential i hope you've learned one or two things about using the behavioral patterns using the um, um life cycle process using their uh, procedural methods or biological patterns to solve this particular German cockroaches in your apartment as a pest control operator these are techniques that you should never never miss Okay, these are techniques that you should not not even take out of the box at all. Okay, so all you need to do is to implement these strategies and start to get the result. Okay, so I did this uh, recently, and I'm going to share you that right now. And uh, this was uh, using a gel bit. This was after using a gel bit to solve a problem of German cockroaches. And when I visited, this was even yesterday. This is just yesterday, Saturday, uh, 22 of uh, of um, July, right of this month. Yesterday, when I visited, revisited the client. Okay, I had to like go back and look at what exactly have we done? What are what's the changes? And I saw this particular video. I'm going to show it to you. Just a very short clip. I'm going to show you that right now. Basically, you can see that they are all dead, and dead, their skins are dried up, and that's because there is something to call cannibalism. They fed on each other. Okay, they fed on each other. The 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 feces as they've eaten their feces. Okay, because we also used bait. We also used dust. Okay, dust was also applied, so it's dehydrated them. That's the major function of dust. They dehydrated them out of it. Dehydrated them. Okay, so there are different control methods that need to be put into consideration when dealing with German cockroaches. Okay, so let's just quickly go on a quick break. Right, we come back and announce the news updates in the pest control industry. Okay, so welcome back again. This is the best experiential, and we just have four minutes before we wrap up the show tonight. Uh, first thing first, I would like to also announce this short news update in the pest control industry in Nigeria and globally. What exactly is happening in the world of the pest control world? Okay, so we have upcoming on 
This year, we have November 11th is the 10th year anniversary of Rotimax Training Academy, which is going to be happening on the November 11, 2023. More information will be coming in on the Pest Experience Show. Please just stay tuned on the Pest Experience Show to be able to learn about this upcoming programs. And also, we have we have the Fortune, the Fortune two days. Two days uh, pest control training happening in Lagos, 27th and 28th of July. All right, so we have that also coming up. And on the 26th of this month, July, uh, the Arch Pest Control Pest Control Company would be having this mosquito control event that will be going in, in Delta State. So more information will be posted right at Redek in Arch Pest Control and see the wonderful mosquito talk that will be going up there right now on uh, July 26th of this month, 2023. Uh, there will be an amazing time where we talk about pest control and, and mosquito control. Then also, we have the Pest Control Association of Nigeria would we'll be having the Mosquito Day Conference. Uh, that will be happening in August, which is going to be happening directly on the Mosquito Day live in Abuja. More information will be posted on Insight Radio dot net all you need to do right now is to go to our inside radio w inside radio net and keep on checking keep on checking every single time and there are also webinars opportunities that we pull out um on the on the program i mean on the blog post so you want to also take part in all those webinars so you can be able to get certification trainings from international brands like the uscpa and so many other brands like that so many other programs will be coming in on the pest experience show and uh, the pest experience webinar okay like i said the pest of the week is jamal cockroaches and we'll be dropping a short quick clip what i want you to do is to share those clips when it comes out then if you are have a product or a distributor and you want to also talk about your product on air like this you want to talk about your product you want us to showcase your product on our show right now right all you need to do is to www.insightradio.net okay uh www uh, sorry www.info at insightradio.net or you can call 09017827767 okay if you want your advert placements to be on the program like this uh like the adverts that was shown before um you also can also do that uh this two days upcoming training but the day fortune you also can bring your product and let's do a product review on the show so we're also adding up a little spice on the show right now uh we'll be having our products review like i said i made mention of the product which is catch master catch master we'll be talking about catch master tomorrow on our twitter and so i want you to go uh, right now and follow us on our twitter and follow us on the ig i will be talking about each of all these products every monday of the past of the week of the past experience we'll be talking about the product will be talking about the pest of the week. And this is the Pest Experience Show. And my name is Shofu Valati of Los. Thank you very much for joining on the show. I hope you had a wonderful time right now. So do have a wonderful night rest. If you have any questions or queries, please drop them in the comment sections and we would love to answer them. See you same time, same station, www.insightradio.net, 7 to 8 p.m. on your number one Pest Experience Show. See you and have a wonderful night rest.